Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show we're going to be making homemade potato salad. And everybody does it a little bit different, but I'm going to show you my version. You probably can't see, but I've got some potatoes that are peeled, cut into cubes. And I did about seven to eight big recent potatoes like this. Depends on how much, how many people you're going to be feeding to how many potatoes you're going to eat. And then I like, sometimes I like eggs of mine. And so... I got this cute little basket at the Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? It's like as seen on TV for a dollar. I've been wanting one of these. And this, you can steam with this basket. You can rinse and strain and you can deep fry for a dollar. And it folds up flat and then goes into your drawer. And you can use it for pastas and all kinds of stuff. So, I wanted to put everything in one pot and not have to fish stuff out. And also, I didn't want to have two pots going. I want everything in one pot. I got my little basket out, put my little eggs in. And I know I've got a little eggs, a lot of eggs in here. But, some is going to be for the potato salad. And some of the boiled eggs are just going to peel and put it in a big old um, supple baggie. And we have them for lunchtime. Or sometimes breakfast. I'm going to let my potatoes cook and get tender. And I'm also going to, you know... Your your eggs are gonna get done first before your potatoes. So when everything's done and cooked, I will come back with the next step. Okay, we have drained our potatoes and I threw them back in the pot. I've got five of my boiled eggs and just mashed them up with the potato masher. Dump that in. And let me tell you about boiled eggs. I never had a potato salad that had boiled eggs in it before I went to my friend's house, and she had put boiled eggs in it, and I like it so. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in, whether I put boiled eggs in mine or not. So today, I'm in the mood, so boiled eggs went in. So, if you don't like boiled eggs in your potato salad, you can completely leave them out. Now we're going to have put in one large onion that's been chopped, about a cup of dill pickles that's been chopped you can use relish you can use sweet pickles or sweet relish if you have that on hand okay now our onions and pickles are in i'm gonna start out with a cup of mayo and this is real mayo if you don't want to use mayo you can also substitute your mayo for greek yogurt or plain yogurt and then i'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of just yellow mustard. If it, you don't matter what kind of mustard you put in. Some people just don't even put just like a drop or two. Some people don't even put no mustard in the potato salad. So it's your preference. Salt and pea to your taste. Heavy on the pea in my house. I'm just going to mix everything up. And I'll come back when everything's mixed. And then we'll taste it and see if it needs more mayo, more mustard, more salt, pepper. Okay, my potato salad is ready. I've already tasted it and just did the, my seasoning. I like more my potato salad to have more mayo based than mustard. Just in time for grill seasoning. And a lot of people um, also actually put a dash or two of some sugar in here. I know my memory used to. So it's all up to you how you like your potato salad. I put my potato salad in a big old bowl. Ready to serve. I like to dust mine with a little bit of regular paprika on top. Wouldn't you like this big bowl on your table for the summer when you cook out? I hope you enjoy this recipe and you try it soon. 